Wouldn't that be a perfect missile? No. No? Well, Why? Curved. What's wrong with it? It's curved. It's curved? It can't fly straight if it's curved? The missile launcher should. Oh. Well, what if I made it look like uh, this? Fine. How about that? No. Well, that shoots straight. No. Oh, yeah, missiles usually need to be long and straight and skinny to go well. Same like arrows for bow and arrows. And arrows usually have fins on the back. They call that drag, and they have a little bit of weight on the front, which is the tip, and they'll go nice and straight. Uh, we're going to try to make some arrows go, but we're going to do it in a really weird sort of way. And Jack and Jill said, well, what can you do? And the snake said, I can coil up like a spring and bounce clear up to the top of the sky. And Jack and Jill said, no, you can't. And the snake said, yes, I can. And he coiled himself up to a snake, into a spring and started going boing, 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 and disappeared clear up in the sky. And Jack and Jill said, wow, that was really good. And pretty soon, boing, he came back down. So, in our experiment, we're going to be using air pumps. They blow air on the outward puff and they blow air on the inward puff. Isn't that weird? Out and out and out and does it work? There. You're making bouncy peas. Uh, you have a balloon. You made, you made bouncy peas. Yeah, you made like a bouncy peep. Yeah, you made a bouncy peep. Yeah, you made like a bouncy peep. Yeah, you made like a bouncy peep. There we go. What about energy? Uh, it has energy inside. The energy is there because the rubber is stretched. So if you let go, it takes off, okay? That's one way to store energy in a balloon. Another way to store energy in a balloon is to stretch it. Stretch. Now, if I just let go of it, I could try to make it go somewhere. If I could let go of this end, and get it accelerating forward, and just before it reaches my hand, let go of the other end, the balloon should keep going, right? No, and then what are the odds of that? Then, then you can use your finger and stick it in here. I have a finger inside. Can you see my finger in there? So and you can shoot a balloon that way. Point. Okay, those are just three ways to do it. There's lots of other ways to make a balloon fly. We're going to be starting off with long, skinny balloons. The idea is to make the balloons hit the pirate ship. If you get it stuck in one of the strings on the pirate ship or on the swirly thing, you get one point. If you get it stuck in the sails, you get five points. If you can land it into the boat part, you get 10 points. <laughs> yeah, you can go get them. Oh, okay. You can... Hey, look at that. We got 10 points. Yeah. Does anybody want a different balloon? Ah! Extra points. Extra points. <laughs> oh, Greenland got it again. 